Hi everyone! Today I'm sharing another process video for Story Kit Crush, and I'm going to be working on the Friends Story Kit from Allie Edwards again. And because my boyfriend and I had our anniversary just this past weekend, I thought it would be nice to do a spread about him. So one of the things I have found um, about working with these story kits is that I really miss having some pattern paper. So if you watch any of my other process videos, you'll know that um, I like very colorful pattern paper um, all over my spread. And I like to use that as the basis of my spreads as well as formatting my photos sometimes. So because Ali's kits don't really have any pattern paper and they just have cards, sometimes I find that I just have to be a bit more creative when I'm coming up with um, what to use in the backgrounds of my spreads. So here I'm going to be making a background using some alcohol inks. I have the colors here are salmon, shell pink, stone washed, denim, and I also have one of the mixatives in rose gold. So I'm starting off with some Yupo paper. This is from Tim Holtz, and I'm just sprinkling on some alcohol ink blending solution just to help my inks flow a bit. And then I'm going to put all of my inks, um, just dropping them directly onto the Yupo paper. So I'm starting off with the darker pink, which is the shell pink. Then I'm using the salmon color, which is a bit of a lighter color. Then stone washed, which is the darker blue. And then finally the denim, which is the darkest blue. So you'll notice that as I'm opening this bottle, um, there's some dark blue specks that end up on the Yupo paper. And that's just because the last time I used this ink, I accidentally got some ink in the lid and then it dried up in the lid. And so it's just kind of flaking everywhere <laughs> at this point, um, but it still turned out all right. So I'm fine with that. And last but not least, I'm just shaking up my bottle of rose gold mixative. Um, make sure you shake these up because they do have a pigment in them. And I'm just dropping a couple of drops here and there onto the entire Yupo paper piece that I have. The thing about mixatives is that um, they do kind of sit on top of the rest of the colors. So you don't want to use too much. Otherwise, it can overpower your piece. So now I'm just taking a paintbrush. This one has uh, kind of plasticky bristles and I use it specifically for alcohol inks. And I'm just brushing through the alcohol inks um, in stripes back and forth from the lightest color on the top to the darkest color on the bottom. And at first it's going to look like a hot mess and that it's too streaky and doesn't really look nice. But I'm going to add more blending solution to this so that I get a bit more movement in the colors. And I'm also going to add a bit more color as well. Specifically, I wanted to add more denim to the bottom just to give it a bit more contrast. Um, and I added a couple more drops of that shell pink onto the top as well. And then now you can see that because the piece is a bit wetter, um, the alcohol ink blending solution moves around the color a bit more. And the colors just kind of even out a bit more so that it's not as streaky. So the thing about alcohol inks is that with this ink blending solution, which is an alcohol based uh, blending solution, you can reactivate these inks on the Yupo paper at any point in time because the Yupo paper is a slick surface, so it doesn't absorb any of these inks. So you can really go in and play with it as much as you want until you're satisfied with the results. And you'll see here that I'm just adding a bit more color in some places and then adding a bit more blending solution um, and then brushing through it again with this plastic brush. Um, I want the result to be kind of like wide brush strokes instead of um, narrow streaky ones. Um, so that's why I'm just adding more alcohol ink blending solution to kind of even things out and to create a bit more movement in the top instead of having it be really streaky. I find that playing with alcohol inks and watching other people play with alcohol inks is so therapeutic just because of the way the colors flow and the way that you can redo the piece if you want and add more color. Um, I find it really forgiving and really fun to play around with. I should mention as well that I usually work on my Tim Holtz glass media mat um, and because that's just covered with a whole bunch of stuff right now, um, I'm just using one of these sheet protectors. Um, this is just an eight and a half inch by 11 inch sheet protector um, and I just put that on my desk and because that's a slick surface, I can easily wipe this off with some alcohol or some hand sanitizer um, and then I can just use the sheet protector again. 
Another great thing about these alcohol inks is that um, it dries in no time. So um, this piece was pretty much um, almost dry um, by the time I finished capping all of these bottles. And you can see the tiny specks of um, the dried alcohol ink that I had accidentally flicked onto the surface of my UFO paper at the beginning of the video. But I feel like it just adds to the effect of um, this piece and kind of creates a bit more texture. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Moving on to my spread, I just cut down two pieces of white cardstock to the same size as a story album page protector. So that's about seven inches by eight and a quarter inches. And I also have a photo of me and my boyfriend here that I just cut right down the middle in half. I also have my three by four card that says love you because that came in the friend's story kit. And then I have my journaling typed out um, in bullet points. And these are all the reasons that I love my boyfriend. Um, and this I had cut down at about three inches by um, six and a half inches. Here I'm just cutting up that pocket card so that I keep the top part that says love you because, as well as the very bottom part that has that striped border. And I'm just going to put those two pieces on the top and the bottom of my journaling so that it creates one whole column in my spread. Next, I wanted there to be enough room on the very left side of the page for there to be a strip of that alcohol ink panel. So I'm just trimming down my photo a tiny bit to make it a bit narrower. And next, I'll just start assembling this page together by gluing everything down. You'll notice that I do have a bit of a gap between um, all three of those elements with the journaling card and the journaling and the bottom piece of the journaling card. And that was because I didn't know if the paper that I had used to type up my journaling matched the same whiteness as the journaling card from Allie's kit. So by putting a bit of a gap in between all of those elements, it kind of breaks it up a bit and that way, if they're not exactly the same shade of white, it's not as noticeable as if they were touching each other on the page. The white cardstock that I usually use to print out my journaling is called Accent Opaque Smooth Cover White, and this is a 65 pound cardstock. And I find that to my eye, it does match the shade of um, the cards from Ali's kits quite well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below if you're interested in checking that out. Before I glue down this photo of myself, um, I just have some word transparencies that came in this friends kit. So I'm going to be using the one that says girl, boy, and love you. So the girl one, I'm going to just use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher to staple um, just in the darker areas in the trees above where I'm standing. And the boy one, I'm going to staple above my boyfriend. But first I'm going to adhere my alcohol panel down to the very left side of this page. I do want the edge to be flush against the um, left side of the page, so I'm just going to adhere it down to the base of the page first and then trim off any excess um, using my paper trimmer. And that excess is going to go on the very right side of the right page. I have these acetate word pieces that say love you as well that I'm going to use on this page. And I'm just going to staple them onto the bottom of this alcohol ink panel here. So when I had chosen the alcohol inks that I was going to use on this spread, I purposely chose ones that not only went along with the um, friend's story kit, so with the blues and the pinks, um, but also I wanted to make sure that I had the darker ink towards the very bottom so that these acetate word pieces just show up a bit clearer on the page. I think ideally I would have liked to use a sewing machine to stitch these acetate word pieces down onto the photo and onto the alcohol ink panel um, just to go with the kind of ethereal look that I was going for with the flowy alcohol inks. But the staples work well in a pinch and that way I don't have to worry about adhesive showing up from behind my acetate pieces. I decided to pull out some glitter enamel dots from my stash. These ones are from the Coco Daisy Denim and Blush Collection from February of this year. And the colors just go so well with the colors that I have in the spread. So I'm using the smallest ones um, in this enamel dot pack to use as bullet points for my journaling. And I'm just going from top to bottom in the order of the colors that I had used my alcohol inks. So the top ones are pink, followed by a corally one, followed by like a yellowish pinky one, um, and then a lighter blue, and then two darker blue ones to end out my journaling. 
I especially like how the glitter in these glitter enamel dots kind of catches the light in the same way that the rose gold mixative does um, so that my whole spread is kind of sparkly and glittery and magical. So that finishes up my spread and I love how this one turned out. If you're interested, I do have a playlist of all of my Story Kit Crush videos. Um, so far, I've only been doing the Friends Kit, and I'll be doing a couple more with the Friends Kit, but after that, I'll move on to a different Story Kit. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching!